So we have to make a new dashboard here for the boat. What we're going to do is have a solid piece of red oak here, and then we're going to inlay it with uh, acrylic plastic. Uh, this is roughly just under 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths thick. I'll show you a picture of the old dashboard and what exactly we're dealing with. Now you can see that this hole is for the key ignition. This will be for a new USB charger. And then I have toggle switch holes for radio, horn, blower, wiper, etc. And the top holes, this is for an inline or a panel mount fuse holder. So it's a pretty simple uh, application that we have to build here. You can see how it's uh, dataed in the back or inlaid. And what I've done here is I've added uh, counter bores here so that the screw heads can fit in there because the screw will be coming. Uh, it will be mounting from the inside of this of this uh, piece of acrylic. So stick around for the next couple minutes and you'll see me make this dashboard. So I need to engrave the letters onto the front of the dashboard similar to what you see here. So it's going to say blower, anchor, nav lights, etc. So this is just a sample I made to get the switches on. What I went and got from Amazon was this little tiny 8th inch V groove. It's on a 15 degree angle. I think they cost me 10 bucks for 10 of them. And what I've done is I've done a sample, and you can see the different depths at which they've gone. So this is with the with the 15 degree V groove. It actually melted the plastic, and then as I gone up, or went up in depths, and then over here, this is actually using a carbide tip V groove from Lee Valley. So what I've set my parameter to is a depth of 0 0.015, and we're going to use that because I think that's going to do a better job. So I've touched off right here in this corner. What I'm going to do first is use the V-groove v carving bit to cut out the radio and horn. And I centered it out right here in this corner. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Two flute spiral upcut, 3 16 in diameter to cut out the bores and the 2D contour. We have the technology. This is the old dashboard, and remember we're cutting it upside down and backwards so it's going to be like this and it's going to go right there so um, I've got it on a piece of red oak and we're going to cut out those two knots. So it's quarter inch solid carbide upcut spiral bit to cut out the dashboard. Here's the old one this shitty marine plywood with some vinyl or something onto it. Here's the new one. There's room and there's play in there so we can center those. Awesome. This just fits in. Stay tuned for the next video. I think in the springtime uh, I'll show you this going in and there might be another dashboard on the way too.